It's featured in that clip, right, that I spoke about of the girl who said that she was the one at the Super Bowl thing. Remember? Um, somebody has found another clip where it looks like she might be sat next to BGL. But I don't think it's her. People are saying it's her. I don't think it's her. So this is a clip I'm going to play for you now. And they're saying that this girl might be the one that was 16 or 17, however old that she was. And um, at that Super Bowl party that Brenda may have allegedly handed a note to. I don't personally think it's her. I think this is fake news. But some people are saying this girl is sat next to BGL. So let's look at it together and we can make the assertion. But I don't think this is the girl. So let's see. This is a video taken from, a clip taken from the Super Bowl party. You see Mike Tyson here and Brandon Marshall play fighting and you'll see a girl next to BGL and they're saying that's a 17 year old. They're saying that, yeah, they're saying the girl over there. Right, so let's rewind it a little bit there. Let's rewind it a tiny bit. They're saying that girl, I guess. That one, I think they're saying this one. But I don't think that's, I don't think that's a 17-year-old, personally. She's not wearing the same top. Um, I just don't think so. It's not the same girl. They don't look the same. And it's definitely not the one here with the hat. It doesn't look like her. She looks like a woman in from Desperate White Housewives or something. Do you know what I mean? That doesn't look like the one for me, personally. Let's play it all the way again from the top. Oh, see, it's even closer. Yeah, it's not. It's definitely not her. It's definitely not her. It definitely isn't her personally. I don't think it's her. There's BGL as whatever. I don't think it's her at all personally. Um, and then there was an update uh on the flipping Reddit's of the thread where they're talking about it on the Reddit, right? So big up the Friday the Kid Reddit guys. So it looks like Hella Mark Harley replied recently, BGL, and he said the following: This girl is full of shit about talking to me likely is full of shit about the entire story never talked to her or seen her in my entire life and approached zero women on behalf of brendan at that event trust me i'd love to out him if it was true so bgl is unequivocally saying this didn't happen it's all lies but why would this rant yeah that's i knew i should trust in my instinct i did say at the time it could be a clout chaser right but who would get do you think the homeless cats reached out to some random 17-year-old and got her to make up this story? It's a bit odd, isn't it? Like, why would this random girl just start saying this stuff? Like, Brendan isn't that famous for this to kind of catch any steam. She's not really going to get that many followers from it. Like, what is the incentive? It's just, just a troll and just have a bit of fun on the internet, maybe. I don't really know. But that's what he said. Um... Uh, and, then, and then another post from him, he says, uh, never approached that girl, never asked her if she wanted to meet Brendan, never seen her before in my life, never, Brendan told me it was a work-related after the shit came out, had no idea about any of this at the event. Okay, so BGO is saying that when that video dropped, that he was handing that girl a no, it wasn't to fuck, it was about some podcasting shit, I guess. That's press X, to, press X for doubt on that one. Um, and then I think somebody else asked him here too, if I can mistaken. No, that's it. Yeah. Another one says, I feel like Ma Hella Mark Harley remembered that face if it was her. And he replied and says, I never talked to her in my life. If Papa had me talk to her, I'd admit it. So I don't know who to believe. I don't know who to believe. Is Papa a pedo? Probably not. Um, again, like Brendan's a lot of things. He's a bit, he's a bit of a redact, but I just don't get pedo vibes from him, you know? You know, he might be out there putting up fucking, you know, LeBron James numbers when he's on the road, right? He might be out there fucking swishing it all over the place. And maybe the, Mex the, the Mexican, maybe his wife is aware of that and they have some sort of agreement. I think that's been my theory all, all along. I think these guys have some sort of quiet agreement that as long as Brennan doesn't embarrass his wife and keeps all his business on the road, he gets to kind of be a boy. Because I think, again, this is really odd for me to say this, but... <clears throat> I think there are some people, especially within minor immigrant minority communities, whatever, especially black and brown people, there is this weird thing sometimes, this stigma around divorce. And there is sometimes this weird also um almost even control 
but this weird sort of like grace men have in relationship but they can kind of get away with murder because they're sort of like the breadwinners and shit. So I think in that case, looking at it from that lens and considering the wife's expensive tastes and shit and the fact that she's getting older and whatnot and they've already got, free, they're, they're about to have another kid already, but they're going to have three kids at the moment. I just don't see it likely that, you know, it would really affect anything anyway. Even if it was true, it wouldn't really affect anything. I wouldn't think she would go anywhere. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think they've got a gentleman's agreement. And I also don't think Brendan would be that dumb to try to fuck a 17-year-old, personally for me. Um, like I said, he might be putting up numbers on the road. I don't think he's alone in that. So I don't think it's a crime. Um, personally for me also, to be honest, as much as I enjoy watching those videos, and again, that stream online was fucking incredible. I loved it. Seeing him fucking in the background, just bad timing, handing a note to a person. I think digging deep and trying to find it is a bit much. You know, it's a bit much. Like, I don't know who created this whole lie with this girl, but whoever reached out to the 17-year-old, made that, made her make that video, spoke the way that she spoke about the whole event. It's a bit odd, you know? Trying to construct a narrative around it is a bit odd. Just, just let it let it play out the way it plays out. If that, if that girl in the video eventually does come out, then cool. But, you know, going out of your way to find them and push them to say something and really kind of push it is a bit much. Just reporting on what you see, on a live stream is whatever it is, is what it is. Brennan's the one that was an idiot for doing it in front of the camera, but going out of your way to kind of do a little bit of, you know, PI work is a bit too much for me personally. And like I said, I don't think it's going to get the result that you think it's going to get because I think they have a agreement where she's allowed to go to Vegas and, and do what she needs to do, right? She's allowed to get her, her mummy time in and have a little MILF time out there. And I think Brennan's allowed to be like a man and be a boy and do what boys do and go on the road and, you know, and have a good time. I think they have that kind of agreement, clearly, because there's, he's done enough. He's done enough if a woman that had, that cared about that sort of shit would have left time ago, you know? When those DMs came out, remember those DMs? When those DMs came out, I think that would have been enough for a regular woman to be like, you know what, fuck this, I'm out, you know? Like, Chris D'Elia's wife didn't leave her after, him after all this. Come on, man. I don't know. These women, they're, they're not the same as like regular ladies. They're in another universe, you know what I mean? And I understand it, you know, I kind of get it, especially if you live in, live in this kind of like, you know, stay-at-home mum life and you've got a particular type of lifestyle, maybe different needs come into your head and especially if you're a mother, you have different things to worry about, you know what I mean? You can't get too maybe precious about cheap things like cheat. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's all my business. But yeah, it seems like the girl was talking out of her ass. That's what it seems like. What do you guys think in the chat? What do you guys think? Was that girl lying or was it true? I'm going to say she's lying, personally. I can't think of Brendan being out here trying to pull fucking 17-year-olds. It doesn't make any sense to me, personally. It seems a little bit too far-fetched. What do you guys think? Nothing surprised me with these people. I don't see a reason to lie, Uche says. Yeah, it's odd, isn't it? I don't know, man. I don't know what to think. <laughs> Um, Nerdscape says nothing surprising me with these people he hangs out with Dalia at the end of the day yeah true birds of a feather flock together as they say right by the way is it like and that's another thing too that always surprised me about comedians and stuff like they make it seem normal to just have friends that do like really fucking crazy shit we're not talking about I don't know he maybe stole some money at work they're okay to like not say anything and come out and say anything or not be friends with people that fucking do pedo shit like I don't know. I don't have a single friend that's been accused of rape and shit or that is uh, known to be somebody that goes after young girls. They're, they're not a friend of mine. Do you know what I mean? I don't know people like that. Like, do you know what I mean? But it seems so normal in their world to just be like, yeah, he didn't do it. He's still my friend. It's like, um, even if you didn't do it, don't, don't ring my line. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, I'm cool. Like, <laughs> let's just leave it there. I don't know. Like, I don't think that's really normal. I don't think regular dudes go through just like rape allegations. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Um, But yeah. These women, she's redacted. Ox J vibes. She was in NFL. She sounded deaf though. She, she seems nice. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, Why would she wait this long? Exactly, Crash. Good point. Why would she wait this long? Um... The Watcher, if Papa goes to jail, he can't pay back BGL. Maybe he doesn't talk about hoping he gets paid, but we all know he's not getting shit. Yeah, that's true. But I, honestly, I really want BGL to get paid. 
aside from his madness that he got up to, I know what it's like not getting paid from work and having owners and founders who fuck fuck up fuck around with your money. And I don't wish it on anybody. I really wish BGL gets his money. That's not fair. But um, I'm just not sold on this girl being the girl. I really am not. I'm sorry. There's something that just doesn't smell too kosher about this, you know? That's the only thing. It seems a bit fishy. I don't know if I actually believe that that girl is the girl, you know? Maybe I'm in the minority here and... But... Also, again, like I said, to have daughters, man. Imagine having a 17-year-old daughter and she comes back home and she has a tattoo of chaos on her chest. Like, and the two snakes. It's a lot, isn't it? It's a lot, bro. You probably don't have any you probably don't have any say so in what your teenage daughter does, but fuck man, having daughters is way harder than having sons. Way fucking harder, bro. Like you're you've been tearing your hair out, bro. Like shit. But yeah, one more time. Let's see what she has to say. One more time. Now you're just showing off. I can't believe my eyes. I can't believe my eyes. <laughs> Brendan handing the for the notes was hilarious. <laughs> Look at his little face. <laughs> Brendan's little face at the end, man. Playboy shit. Riz gang. You know what I mean? Put them numbers up, bro. Her panties are wet. Get the mops out, lads. Get the mops out, lads. Clean up on aisle seven. Clean up on fucking aisle seven. And then she looks at it. She looks at it. She goes to the girls. Is that the same girl though? I don't know if it's even the same. I know it's really pixelated, but is that the same girl? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Is that even the same girl? Like body wise, forget what she's wearing. Just the body wise, forget what she's wearing. This girl looks a little bit older, like how she's moved. I don't know, man. Am I bugging out? Like shape of her body and her arm. I don't know if it's, if it's her. What do you guys think? It's very pixelated. It's a bad thing to show. But what do you think, man? Could that be fucking her? I don't, I don't. I don't oh. She gets up, she looks at her friends. What do we think? What do we think? Could that be her? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. Anyway, it's a bit sus that I'm doing this looking at a 17 year old, allegedly, right? That's the sus thing. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at Brenda at the back. Look at Brenda at the back. This is the one I missed. Look at Brenda at the back here. Look him at the back. Look at Brenda at the back. <laughs> look at his chest just popping out there. Walking out with a chest first. Chest first. Isn't it, right? <laughs> That's how you get the girls. Get the tits out first. Tits first. Tits first, face later. All right? <laughs> Really, dude? <laughs> yeah, so I didn't really know who he was. Like, I didn't really like, I never really heard about him before, if I'm being honest. And so, like, while I was there, like, I kind of picked up. That There's no denying that she's young. You can hear from the sound of her voice, her voice inflection, um, how her eyes dart around. Like, if you've had younger, if you have younger siblings, or you have younger family members and stuff, or you just know younger people, you would know that she's definitely, whatever age they say that she is, she's definitely that age. If not, that she's a very immature 21. But she's definitely got a bit of a teenager vibe about her. That's the very concerning part about it. This is definitely an underage person. <laughs> That's the issue. We're, we're not going to deny that. But is she the girl in the video? That's the thing. Like, Now he had a podcast or was on a podcast or something like that. Uh, but this guy with like longer hair and was like kind of buff came up to me and was like asking me like, 
if I wanted to meet Brendan. And like, I didn't know. I didn't even know who he was. Like, is she a good? Is she a good actor? Do you think it's possible someone from the Reddit would have given her a script or given her some point of what to say, and she kind of filled it in? Is she a good enough actor to do that? What do you think? Is she a good enough actor to be like playing along with it and pretending that she's the girl in the video? It's possible. Kids nowadays are good at trolling. They know how to fuck around on socials and shit. So she could be a decent enough actor to be like, I don't know, it was me I was playing around and I saw him and it was like, it's buff guy and, um, you know, you know, she kind of got, yeah, and he said to me, um, I don't know why, um, I have to be quiet because my parents are next door. What do you think? Because at the time when the video originally came out, I thought she was mid-20s. My original impression. Then somebody said she's actually either between 18 and 19. But I was surprised. I thought she was actually mid-20s. Mostly because of the tattoos. The tattoos threw me off because the tattoos are giving... The tattoos are giving like dive bar bartender. Dive bar waitress. Right? That's what the tattoos are giving. Like that, like hole in the wall, you know, where it looks a bit shit, but they do a hell of a good burger. Um, and they've got a couple of waitresses in there who look hot, but they're really nice to talk to and stuff, and they got good conversation. You know that she's got those type of tattoos, you know? The type of girl that works at a bar, small denim shorts, converses. So what are you having, Ago? Same again? Jaeger bomb? Yes, please. <laughs> you know? So how's it going? You still reading that Malcolm X book? <laughs> you know? Like, she's got that kind of, like, small town, dive bar type of girl vibe about her. You feel me? So the tattoos really threw me off. Because I'm just thinking about, like, anybody in the chat who has kids, do you have, if, if you have teenagers, could you, do you have teenage girls? If anybody in the chat has teenage daughters, would you let them get a tattoo like this on their body? It's a bit much, isn't it? It's one thing letting your daughter get like a triangle or like a little bird, but like the snakes and the chaos on the chest. What does chaos mean? Is that is that like chaos tits? What is chaos? What the fuck is that? It's a bit much, isn't it, if you've got a daughter. Like, would you let her get that? A foot, a foot, a little foot tattoo is one thing. A little paper plane. But like chaos and the snakes is like. Oh, she turned 18 as in permission. Okay, cool. Fair enough. She's got, you know what she's got? She's got Millie Bobby Brown vibes. Millie Bobby Brown is like 18, 19, but she acts like she's for like in her mid 30s. So I think she's one of those girls that just likes, you know, she wants to be older. So that makes a lot more sense. She's got Millie Bobby Brown vibes about her, probably. Maybe. But even the eyelashes, the eyelashes are very young, right? A lot of young girls love these like crazy long eyelashes. Her, the way she is unable to keep eye contact with the camera and stuff is a bit shy. That's really giving young girl. I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't know. Is that because she's got a baby face? She definitely is very young looking. I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I just don't think she's a girl in the video. I, I trust the age thing. I can believe that she's a teenager, but I just don't think she's the girl in the video. Because if I'm not mistaken, again, this is my personal opinion. My personal opinion is the girl in the video kind of looks Asian. Is that me or am, I, or am I bugging out? The girl that Brendan allegedly gave the note to, she kind of looks Asian. I'm getting like half white, half Asian vibes with her. I don't know why. I can't, I can't even see her fucking face. But the girl in the picture looks kind of Asian-y looking. You know? Like, do you, guys, do you know what I mean? Like, she kind of looks a little bit like more on that sort of vibe as opposed to that one like straight up white girl. Maybe Brendan was like hooking up with her trying to, you know, imagine she was cat or something. I don't know. But this girl's giving a little bit, she's giving Asian. I, you know? And she also has like a long back. Like there's, there's no bum there as well. So I don't know. She kind of looks a little bit Asian to me. What do you guys think? This is so redacted. This is so fucking redacted. Look at what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing at this time of night. <laughs> Look at what I'm fucking doing. <sighs> Look 
at Brendan. Look at Brendan. Look at him. <laughs> Chess first. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> yeah, so I didn't really know who he was. Like, I didn't really, like, I never really heard about him before, if I'm being honest. And so, like, while I was there, like, I kind of picked up that, like, he was in the NFL, and then, like, <laughs> now we had a podcast, or we're on a podcast, <laughs> or something like that. Uh, but this guy with, like, longer hair, and was, like, kind of buff, came up to me and was, like, like asking me, like, if I wanted to meet Brendan. And, like, I didn't know, I didn't even know who he was. Like, yeah, like, he was there, but whatever. Um, so then later on, I want to believe uh, lols. He came up to me and gave me the note with the phone number, and I don't know. Uche, really? Uche is like, I think it's a girl from the vid, really? Man, I just don't see it, bro. I don't see it. Maybe I'm being too, like, maybe it's a Christian in me. I don't want it to be her because that will mean that Papa is a fucking pedo. Maybe there's a part of me that's doing that. I'm like refusing to see it. Right, it's like I'm I'm literally acting like a woman in the church, like refusing to believe her husband cheats and shit. Right, I'm kind of covering my eyes on purpose, figuratively, and um, you know, both metaphorically and shit. Maybe, but I just don't see it, man. She doesn't look like the same girl. They were both like really kind of creepy, in my opinion. Um, I don't know. It was not the vibe. <laughs> anyway we don't know we don't know i guess we have to wait until um more information comes about to find out what the deal is but yeah man i just don't know i just don't know what to think i really don't know what to think there's loads of conflicting information out there about the whole thing it's looking kind of dicey looking kind of crazy um but i guess everybody's saying it could not be her who knows let's wait and see about that let's see if anything else i've got to talk about here Bear with me a second. Big up everybody in the stream chat, hanging in there. Appreciate all of you for joining me. If you enjoyed the stream so far, make sure you smash the like button for me. Help your boy out. Smash the like button for me. Help a boy out. Smash the like button for me. That's all you have to do. Smash it, okay? If you like black people, <laughs> right? If you support BLM, smash the fucking like button, okay? <laughs> if you don't, then don't smash it, okay? That's what you should do. That's what you should do. I'll know who actually supports me for real when you <laughs> smash the like button. Do you know what I mean? Are you an ally, yay or nay? Actually, you know what? Black people aren't really in the conversation in, in this these last couple of weeks. BLM's kind of died down. You know what I mean? BLM's kind of space guy not smashing. <laughs> You're like, fuck the blacks. Go back to your country. <laughs> <laughs>